Hello, Twitch. Um, today I'm playing Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout. It was an NES game made to celebrate uh, Bugs's 50th anniversary. And so now here we are at his 80th birthday, so I figured it's fitting to play this one again. And my cat, Tiny, is off the side. Can you say hi? Yeah. All right. And, uh, all his friends are jealous. This is definitely a, mer a very, like, Mario Brothers, or... It, visually, the first stage looks like Mario 3 to me, with, like, the waving grass and stuff. I don't know, it, it kind of reminds me of Mario 3. Hit with, and I think if I remember, if you hide behind the bushes, you can't get hurt. But you also can't attack, which is weird. Oh. You also can't attack when you're in your, um, like, invulnerable. When you get hit, you're invulnerable, like that. Like, now I can't attack at all. Alright, these carrots are interesting. You collect them. I'm not talking to you. Uh, after you collect them, they turn into these Warner Brothers logos that you can jump on top of, so you can kind of make your own platforms doing that. The controls are okay, they're a little loose, and um, you don't see many NES games that like have frame rate drops, but this one definitely does. At certain points, it feels like everything's strangely laggy. stages there are in this uh, game. Like there's five or six stages. Oh, I'm just Probably wasn't worth dying over. And these weird green red things, like when they're green, you can touch them. When they're red, they'll hurt you. Uh, some weird choices for Bugs Bunny enemies. Like, all these are kind of strange. But 
they use his friends uh, and enemies as, like, boss characters, so I guess there's no one left to be, like, you know, the Goombas of the world here. Uh, but it's just strange. <laughs> I don't know why they chose uh, an alarm clock that explodes and walking. I mean, the hammer I can kind of see, because, like, mallets are kind of big. Oh, we got a fight. They're hiding in there. So annoying when you can't fire. Got her there. Got her. Okay. Yeah, the fact you can't attack when you're in your invulnerability state, like, it really throws you off sometimes. Let's get some extra guys. Ooh, that's like two guys there. Nice. This is like a good licensed game in the sense that like it's it's a good enough platformer, you know. Like there's a lot of licensed stuff out there that was pretty bad, including Looney Tunes stuff. Like I wouldn't say this does a good job with the source material, but at least it's a fun game. And before this, this was um, like Bugs Bunny, Crazy Castle, and. Uh, I love that game as a kid, even though I know like it has it's nothing at all to do with the license. In fact, it wasn't even a Bugs Bunny game in Japan. It was a uh, Roger Rabbit. They just exchanged one money for another. Oh, I'm gonna die getting that hard on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Das war der Quatsch. This one really makes it work for the one-ups. <laughs> I like the other one where I can just hit random stuff in a row. I think I got two guys. Stage two. Oh god. Forgot about that. Those uh wormy things that turn colors, uh, they remind me of Oh, uh, what was it? There's like the the same exact enemy in a boy and his blob. It does the color changing thing too. Which is kind of strange. Oh, he's another one that shows up. Oh, good, got two. Alright, wow, we're racking them up. No, that's okay. Castle, but I totally did as a kid. I really did. Started the level, it was kind of like chugging, and then I got a couple seconds in, and all of a sudden the animation becomes really smooth. It's very, very weird. You don't get that too often with any of these weird frame rate drops. I mean, 
doesn't seem like the game, like the kind of game that would. I mean, it's not pushing anything for the woman here. This one's again annoying because you can't attack when you're when you just been hit. So you kinda have to just wait for that to wear off. Oh. Here we go again. Let's see if we can at least get a little bit. You're getting a lot longer, but they really aren't. There we go. Oh, 
Mushroom Porky spend the night in the haunted house. It was like the, the mice that were kind of haunting the place. Uh, so I kind of like that one. Like Sometimes it's kind of lame to, to pack and old stuff, but I like those. That's great. Nice. We're still in stage three. So it's interesting we have the Looney Tunes come back with that and then uh, I think next month? Or maybe it's November. Um, Animaniacs is coming back and I'm super excited about that. That isn't cool, man. Drops straight into a pit. That was cool. Okay, well, I'll play myself on that one. I'm getting cocky with all the extra lives I have.
shake now. stage. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, I really gotta be more careful about getting hit. I mean, that being said, I shouldn't have taken that many hits from the uh, boss. That was kind of sloppy. Should've just stayed still. 